where you've been I've been looking for you now and then Someone just Hi like friends, you. can I do it without glasses? No, I can't. It actually, it's really sunny today. It says it's only 47 degrees. I'm betting it's a little bit warmer, but there's still a chill in the air, which is why I still have a little sweatshirt on. I have been busy getting ready for the day and <coughs> kind of starting to redo my makeup bag for our trip, I'm refilling my shampoo, I'm finding out that we have no more travel toothpaste. Um, what else would I was, I left a makeup item at my sister's or something. Somehow it's not in my makeup bag. Anyway, so it got me really anxious to want to start packing for our trip, but I also needed to get kind of the house clean, laundry caught up, and editing caught up because um, you've only seen two instances of videos not going live when I normally would have them scheduled to go live, but I am on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> So I needed to get caught up and get back ahead. Um, so I'm actually all scheduled, all edited, everything as far as I have filmed. And so we're starting fresh today. Today is a new day. I haven't any need to edit today anymore. And I need to go to Target. And I can't say another store um, for a birthday present because it would be a absolute dead giveaway to that person and, and to maybe some of you who know um, what this person might be asking for for her birthday. Um, but I am in full panic mode <laughs> for the trip. In case you are new here, we do have a lot of new followers. We are going to Japan for a week and we are going to Hawaii for a week. And I have three April birthdays. Three. Two of which are before the trip-ish and one immediately after we get back from the trip. And so two of them are having their birthdays in March this year. They're going to get theirs ahead of time, which again, that means I need to be even further ahead on their birthdays. Um, I have the wrapping for their birthday presents. I have all of Kaylee's birthday presents and I need one more for Ashley. Um, and then also technically I'm kind of counting some of their clothes that we have gotten for their family photo shoots, which I need to just go ahead and like book a family photographer in Hawaii because Ashley finally found her skirt for pictures. She's just going to wear a pale um, tank top. I actually know which one that will be. Um, she doesn't own it yet, but she will. Kind of counting these as part of their birthdays because everyone is getting new outfits, um, including Chelsea. I ordered her an outfit on the TikTok shop last night. So I'm just getting things checked off my list and I'm kind of getting panicked, but I kind of want to get um, like the travel toothpaste. I need to get another thing of shampoo for myself. That shampoo is working well. Washed my hair last night. It looks pretty good. And I can last three days with that shampoo, which is fantastic because usually by day three, even with a good shampoo, your hair needs to be washed anyway. So I feel like that's a good win. Um, but as I sat doing my makeup today, um, and just kind of cleaning up my desk and then unpacking, but also repacking my makeup bag, I wanted to start packing so bad, but I need to get caught up on life, which I feel like I am. I feel like I'm caught up on life. I've even scheduled pediatrician appointments, <laughs> um, for two of the girls for their April birthdays, just for well visits. Um, so I feel like I'm getting caught up and had a meeting yesterday for a church activity that we're having in two weeks. We're having a talent show. And as soon as I can kind of get some shopping done, um, I kind of have a free night and afternoon today, I believe. I don't have anything on schedule. I think I might sit down and start packing with you guys today and for myself, just because I'm getting anxious. Um, I still need to find two more carry-on suitcases to borrow from friends, but the problem is I need it for a month. I need to start packing now and I need it until I get back from the trip. So I need it for like over a month actually, technically. Um, that's kind of a hard ask for people to give me a suitcase because it is spring break. So people are going places. So I am going to try and do that today, but we have a very busy weekend coming up. Um, tomorrow, Jason and I are meeting the other cheer moms. We are getting a U-Haul for all of our donations. 
um, we'll take you along for that journey. It's going to be pretty crazy. Um, but they're actually, they saw how much I have at my house. So they're bringing the U-Haul to my house. <laughs> I'm hoping between Jason and I and the mom that is driving the U-Haul, we can load it all into the U-Haul and we don't actually need to like load it into a car and then take it somewhere into the U-Haul and then take it to the facility. Um, the problem is we have to take it into the U-Haul, park it somewhere, and we can't deliver it until Saturday, which is also a problem because we have a cheer performance on Saturday at Seattle U at noon. So we need to leave at 11. So it's going to be a very busy weekend. <laughs> so today is kind of my only day to get things done like around the house and to get prepped for being able to start packing. So long-winded, that's where we're going to start today. Join me. It is a rare occurrence that I actually re remember the recycle bag going into the store versus outside. And then back to wearing my flip flops because it is sunny and it is nice. That's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. All right, just got talking to one friend at the other store where I was buying presents. So I got a little bit distracted, um, but I did get the present. But now we're here at Target and I'm realizing I should just go ahead and get all the travel stuff for each of the kids. Um, I need to save space. So we are each getting our own little travel deodorant. And um, yeah, so I'm just going through and starting out with that. Um, each bathroom is going to have this. Okay, texted the girls and they all want their own little mini, to uh, what do you call it, deodorants. And then we got some antibacterial wipes, um, clean the planes, clean your hands throughout the trip, the whole shebang. Lotion is just for at home. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the full size, like the big guy on this one. This is the one I got before. Tested it in the small version. And now I'm gonna get the big mama. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy. It's partial birthday, partial like necessary. You'll see. But I mean, this is the other one that Kaylee got. So we're going to use the same one again. And never take the top lids. Always kind of go from the middle. Because the top one's always the one that's taken and dropped. So take the next ones down. All right. I did pretty good in there. I was pretty, like, focused. I was doing really well with my list. I got their Easter candy. I'm literally not getting them very much. Um, because we're likely going to use that for the travel and they're going to need to come down and get a few more things and we're going to try and fit in healthy options even though we have a night flight <laughs> very very night flight um i am worried about actually finding enough food on the plane um just because it could be you know foreign food <laughs> i don't know exactly what they're going to serve us um i think it'd be way different on the flight home um, from Japan than it is going to be coming from Seattle, but I'm going to pack Ashley and Chelsea like things differently a little bit this time. Um, so anyway, I didn't want to get a ton of snacks for them and ton of candy for them because they are going to get a few more things. Um, one thing I didn't say is that when I was going inside, I had a lady like catch me outside Target and she just, her and I talked about this bag for easily five minutes. And she wanted to see every compartment. She wanted to know the name brand. She was like hesitant that I ordered it on QVC, even though she knows that her sister buys things on QVC. Like this lady was probably in her maybe late 50s. I would say maybe like a decade older than me, I would say. And she had a little crossbody bag and she's like, it's just not enough. It's not enough space, but I don't want a full purse and I have dogs, so I can't carry a purse. And anyway, I was like, this bag is for you. Pay the price, go on QVC. It's better there than it is on Amazon. Anyway, <laughs> she was like, I've never seen a crossbody bag that efficient and that useful. So kudos to my crossbody bag. I'm still reaching people. And she's like, and, and the pins on there, the pins are fantastic. And I was like, I know I have a fun place where I go and get them. Then I like to collect them. So, um, anyway, that is it. I'm going to head home. Uh, the kids are almost home from school. So I think I might actually start to kind of go sit in my bedroom and kind of piece together how we might like just starting to pack. I'm literally just starting to pack. But I also have some fun videos to prepare for you guys as well. 
So um, I'm gonna kinda go and put that stuff together, kinda work on that, just because I don't have anything to do tonight. We don't have any scheduling that has to get done. I don't have cheer practice to go to. I'm not gonna go walking tonight. Um, it would have been a great night to go outside, but I just need to like stay focused and get some things done around the house. So I'll bring you along. Okay, I'm getting stuff out of the car. I found Ashley's skirt from the other day, dirty socks from last night. And then I was putting away the Cokes that I bought and I found the box of these guys that had only like four or five left. So I'm gonna pack Ashley's cheer bag, which she forgot for cheer practice last night. I'm gonna put these in there for her game on Saturday, as well as her, this is her cheer shirt for one of her performances at, in Japan. For whatever reason, the coach wants them to wear that for fun, as well as a little cheetah bow. None of them are fans of this, <laughs> but it is required. Um, they're all wearing the same thing. Um, this might be a dead giveaway. We'll just put that there. But it made me think that I should probably grab, if I'm gonna truly go in here and start to work on Hawaii stuff, I'm gonna come and grab the towels from here and see what else I need. I can't take much. I'm, just, I'm gonna get out what I can. It has begun. <laughs> oh, I'm a little overwhelmed, not gonna lie. Um, I'm trying to lay out all the packing cubes we have available. Kind of thinking we need more of the compression ones. I might order more of those. This set here, the zippers are all like, well this bag here might work, but they're all like the cheapest quality we've ever gotten. So, and that, the blue one doesn't compress. It has a lot of compartments to it. Like there's a lot of sets with that one, but it doesn't compress down, which is okay, as long as we fill it full. But all the other ones compressed down. Um, I'm not gonna show you a ton of stuff because some of it I'm gonna do like a travel haul video. But then I'm trying to decide between like things that we've taken in the past and actually what we can take. Um, we actually cannot take, here I'm just gonna sit down. Like we cannot take sunscreen with us if we can't check it. I was really hoping, well this one's actually gone. It's five ounces, so, but I think this has lasted us um, two trips. So I actually might try and find um, the Blue Lizard in a small, I didn't see any at Target today, but I might try and see if they have a small three ounce bottle of it, just so we have that one. And that way we can just go to Costco and get, when we go get our food, we'll just buy the pack that has all the spray sunscreen in it for the pool. And then I have, plenty of face sticks. We use these for our faces all the time. And both Abby and I, and probably Kaylee, have like makeup sunscreen, like like better for our skin that we're gonna use. So there's that. I also can't find like four of our actual towels. Like I don't know where this one is. And then I don't know where the cover is for this one. This is my new one that I took to Oahu, and I love that one, so that one's mine. But I also have to decide, normally we take all the toys, but maybe we don't, but it is fun to have them in the pool. What ones are the funnest ones? Like sometimes I think we like these guys the best because they actually like dart through the water. So I'm just trying to decide, I think we have two of those guys. I'm really trying to be minimal, but also still have the fun experience. So, is that the only ones that are like that? Oh, there's a, it's nice to have a couple of them. So maybe we'll do like a ball to toss, and then that, maybe that's all we'll do. Sometimes you need two. Okay, I think I'm making decisions quickly. We have that snorkel mask is the adult one that broke when Jason and I were there. So we're not taking that one, but luckily we have two more adult sized masks. Double check, yeah, medium large. So this fits almost everyone. Chelsea and Ashley still won't put these on. Um, and Jason and I are really the only ones who like to snorkel. So if we are, but no, I like to snorkel with Jason. I like to go out with him. So I'm definitely taking two, but I might put these in Kaylee's bag. 
but I also might put all that and the swim stuff in Kaylee's bag and have her bring that with that with her because she thinks that she can pack pretty minimally and have room in her carry-on bag. We'll go all over this later, but I have to kind of think through this like now. So what I might do now is save you the extra um, on this video, but I'm gonna try and start packing this stuff and see how much space it takes up. This is the Hawaii stack. This is pretty much all I'm taking to Hawaii. I think there's even like my workout clothes, swim clothes, pajamas, like I think everything is in this, even a dress. I think everything is in this, including Ashley's swimsuit on top. So if I can fit that into one or two packing cubes, I'll be doing pretty good because then I have another space for the stuff I need to take to Japan. But also the top half of that stuff is like new stuff and I'm doing a travel video of all the things that I've bought. So I can't necessarily show you everything in this video. I will save that for another video, but I am, you know, it's, it's hard because like, do I need to pack this? It does lay flat, but it is insulated and they come in handy in the car, traveling around, going to the beach, even going down to the pool, taking cold drinks down to the pool. And then you don't have to keep going back up to your room. So this is where my brain is. And it's like, I need to start like putting it into suitcases and like test it out. And then eventually we'll be able to do it, pack video with you guys and show you the process of how we've kind of thought through it. And then I'll be able to do a, a video of like what we bought for this trip to make it easier. We really have to like cinch things down <laughs> a whole lot differently this time, like this time around. I'm not taking like towel wraps for our hair. Like we're just going to use the hotel towels and just suck it up and might not get one to wrap on my head separately. I just don't have the space to be able to do some of that. But now I call luxury travel <laughs> items. I'm just going to have to use the hotel towel. So, and that's not, not really a big problem. So I'm not saying it is a problem I'm saying it's just fine. All right. I'm done working upstairs. I've packed all my Hawaii clothes. Um, which I would tell Chelsea to do the same, but she literally wears shorts. Same with Ashley. They <laughs> literally wear shorts well, like day in and day out. So there's no point in telling them to pack their Hawaii stuff, but I can. Um, and then I realized I should probably like figure out dinner because I don't have anything tonight. I tend to like leave at night, so I don't make dinner for everyone, but I'm here tonight. So I'm making some ravioli, but I accidentally like punctured one of the ravioli. So now there's spinach all over. I don't think they're done. But I feel bad because I, I had posed the question to Abby if I should make that world's best mac and cheese from Costco before I checked if we had any. And then my backup in my brain was, oh, if that, if we don't have that, I'll get, I'll make a lasagna for her. We don't have that. <laughs> so, and she literally eats through all the pasta the actual pasta in the garlic pasta bags that we get from Costco. So I'm just making all the vegetables and then I'll make her some pasta as soon as my pasta is done. Dinner's done. But I'll make Jason's ravioli when he is almost home because it's just so fast to make up. But Chelsea, do you want to to wear socks? No, it just feels weird. It's not nice. Okay, show them what you concocted and why the house smells so badly. Oh, I burnt chocolate. She burnt chocolate. She put chocolate in the microwave for two minutes. It's okay. The house stinks. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I need to fix it right now. So she made this. I'm not touching it. Well, I am touching it. Move aside. Move aside. Oh, you got to cut it. <gasps> why would you do that? It's not quite frozen yet. I don't know. I would give it a little bit more time. What do you mean? Oh, the Make it as a treat. Like, have dinner first. Yeah, but like, this sounds so much more <laughs> no. better. So much more better? So much more better. Let it freeze a little bit more. And then... I don't think the peanut the pe Yes, the peanut butter will freeze, I promise you. It does look really good. And actually, I've seen an easier way to do that. You actually just lay the strawberries out and freeze them. And then you layer on peanut butter, freeze that. And then put on chocolate. I'm put it in the fridge, the plate's and right then you cut it up into little, little nuggets, basically. All right, my ravioli is done. Um, 
Can you make and pasta then, but don't add in the white sauce yet? Or at least well, then you need to go grab another bag box of this um, curly cue. Because that's what I'm making for Abby right now. You, do you know what Tupperware it's in? It should be the top one. Just look inside it. All right, I am tired. He's home. Had dinner, shower. <laughs> He's home. He's home. She's home. Everyone's home at Kaylee. Um, the house just barely stopped smelling like burnt chocolate. Candles blown out. <laughs> um, I'm tired. What? Yeah. In the, in the microwave, it's still like. She that. put chocolate in for two minutes. She's like, well, I didn't know. I'm like, it burnt oh, to a crisp. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's not even 8 o'clock, which is wonderful to be, like, done for the day. <laughs> and already home and already in, like, cozy clothes. I've already been in bed for, like, an hour, hour and a half. So, not sleeping by any means. But I'm going to watch some TV. And then I'm going to go to bed on time. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. This one will be at school the whole time we're helping her team. Oh, All of us. All of us parents are going to help out and we'll take you on that journey and show you how much we gathered in donations. It's going to take a U-Haul <laughs> to gather it all up. So stick around, find out how much we got, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.